Hi. Where we left off, I had just finished painting my first mini in the form of this Tau Stealth Battlesuit here, and I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Now it's time to paint the rest of the squadron that came in the set, being these two additional stealth suits, this drone in the back, and this weird little thing here. We're starting off with a dark grey base coat for the undersuits. In my first attempt, I painted the undersuits last, which made a whole lot of extra work for me later on. Now, while the first coat dries on this one, we'll swap over to the second. Now that we've applied the base coat to the undersuit, it's time to move on to the red for the armor. As I paint the torso, I'm being very careful not to accidentally get any paint in the deep grooves on the front and top. These grooves are also present on the right shoulder, but are less well molded, leading me to make some minor mistakes. I spend quite a lot of time going back and forth, trying to figure out which segments of the legs are armour, and which belong to the undersuit. I then apply a blanket coat of red to the gun, reasoning that I can decide what to do when it comes time for detailing. And now, much like before, we'll allow the red to dry on this one while we return back to the first mini. At this point, I have some more doubts about how to split up the coloration of the legs. Eventually I'm satisfied, and move on. Since I took so long on the legs, the rest of the body has dried, allowing me to recoat.
Due to the poor pigmentation of red paint, I once again swapped back to apply additional coats, also taking note of sections that I had missed on my first pass. Now with the base colors finished for the two stealth suits, it's time to move on to this dubious little fellow here. Now we can finally move on to the drone we were keeping at the back. It's around this point here that I realized my paint was a little bit too thin and ran into a groove I wanted to keep clear. I clean my brush and spend some time trying to clear the runoff. Eventually I'm satisfied with the result and move on. Seeing the amount of texture in the mold of the drone's underbelly, I'm quite nervous about detailing this later on. The smooth top side of the drone is incredibly satisfying to recoat. Now I come back through with the dark grey from before for the underbelly of the drone. Finally, I come back through all the minis I'd worked on today for some minor touch-ups before calling it a day. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record the last few minutes due to a combination of storage limitations and iPhones being prone to memory leaks when transferring large files. Here's a final comparison of the one I've already completed and the progress I've made on the remaining minis in the set. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.